Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Tension is not only building in the country, but it is also building within the UDA inner circle. Even at the cabinet level, there is a lot of division because the country has been plunged into mayhem. Fake fertilizer, doctors are going on strike, bandits are raging, and no one seems to be taking responsibility. And one person who has really caught the attention of many is the CS Agriculture, Mythical Inturi. When it is very evident that fake fertilizer has found itself into the supply chain, he has bought into Itumbi's theory to hoodwink Kenyans that this is a narrative that has been created by Azimio and is telling Kenyans to ignore what we have seen. He's telling Kenyans, including farmers, that have witnessed physically the fertilizer that is a mixture of some pebble and, 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 and some donkey dung and is now blaming Azimio. Can you take a look at uh, Mitsika Linturi? You have Fertilizer and then muchukue fertilizer, musindanganywe, na wakora, na wasapeli. Na hii ni story ile watu wanga wana create. Na wana create stories of Afghani. Number one, mujue tunapigana na, na watu wengi, awatutaki mema. Number one, wale walikuwa na ongeyo maneno ni watu wazimio. Wale watu wazimio, wakati tulikuwa raisi ya kisema, tuingie mashambani, walikuwa mbise kwa barabara, na sufuria kwa kichwa wakiandamana tukaambia watu waandamane kwa mashamba hawakusikia they have no they cannot give us any ideas on how to make Kenya food secure in fact their business ni mambo ya ribike chakula kikosekane alafu turundi kwa ile shinda now ladies and gentlemen those sentiments did not go down well with a certain quarter of the UDA officials and leaders and today Musala Mudavadu is the chief minister, the one who is in charge of all the cabinet secretaries. Had a meeting with some of the Rift Valley leaders. And Musala Mudavadi is sending a warning and he actually recommended the sacking of about four cabinet secretaries. And it's revealing to us that at some point when they were at a cabinet meeting with William Ruto and Gedi Gashagwa, they agreed that there are some dockets that are very sensitive that should not be left to unscrupulous businesses. He mentioned agriculture. He mentioned health. He mentioned education and security. And in a sense, it is his considered opinion that these people should pave the way. Kindly take a look. Kohi mambo your fertilizer, because we not take direct. We are telling the National Cities and Produce Board, do not delay, because you know if you follow the supply chain properly, you know Munajua, which consignment was brought in by who out of this fertilizer. Musizungushe wa to kamudamurefu, because you know. And as Arion said, let us make sure that the law follows these people so that they are charged in a court of law and prosecuted so that they don't bring messes in the food security area. Kwa sababu tunaharibu, na juzi tukiwa kwa mkutano wa PSS, we said that there are certain areas where you have very essential commodities. One is the area of food production, fertilizer, seed. These are essential. You go to health, mambo your medicine, nanini, essential products. You go to the petroleum area, fuel, essential commodities. If you come to areas 
like education. You don't tamper with the education. That is a core area of the people. Sasa tuliko tunasema hii mambo ya kuangalia the commodity and the supply chains in government. Why do we tamper with essential products? Wewe unaona mtu kabisa unamujua. Mtu anatembea na briefcase. Anakuja hata kwa corridor yangu, anakuja kwa corridor ya Rono, anakuja kwa corridor ya Cheriot. Yeye yeah, anakuambia yeye yeah, anaweza leta fertilizer 100,000 bags. Na ni mtu anatembea na briefcase ambayo imechaka. Alafu wewe unakubali kufanya biashara na huyo na unajua kikamilifu kwamba huyu hawezi supply hiyo commodity hana capacity hawezi fungua LC kwa bank hata ajui hii inatoka wapi alafu wewe unakubali unampatia nafasi ati yeye ndio atasupply fertilizer unakubali ati yeye ndio atakuja kusupply edible oil na wewe mwenyewe unajua huyu jamaa hawezi fungua LC kwa benki hata hajulikani huko so some of these things as public officers wale tuko pale we must safeguard the president's interest and the president's interest is the public of the republic of kenya you let i am dog na tusemi watu wasifanye biashara. Watu wafanya biashara. But please do it with integrity. And do it properly. Alafu lenga ile biashara ambayo wewe unaweza fanya. Pana enda kwa ile ambayo inakushinda. So that we can now ensure that the supply chains of essential commodities. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Salem Davadi. And if you listened to him, he's talking with some kind of bitterness. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to also notice one thing, that whatever is happening in the country has divided this nation into two. Rift Valley are on their side, Mount Kenya are on their side. For example, on this fertilizer confusion, Dennis Itumbi, Mithikal Nturi, and other Mount Kenya leaders are saying that there's no fertilizer that is fake. And as you can see, they're still blaming us as Mio, and they feel that everything is okay. But those from, Mount, from the Rift Valley have got a different opinion. In fact, the PS in the Ministry of Agriculture, Rono, was the first one to write a letter suspending the supply of any kind of fertilizer. This was written to the National Produce and Cereals Board. And he told them to hold the supply of the particular fertilizer that is being said to be fake. And he said that this was pending investigation. But Mithika Linturi overruled his PS and said there's nothing wrong, that they should continue with all this. And they were saying that these are sponsored headlines. Yet, farmers themselves are revealing that something is wrong. Now, it tells you the division within the government. And some Salam Devadi feels that we cannot continue to blame Azimio. This is this is an archaic way of doing politics. I mean, how can a whole cabinet secretary tell people that this is Azimio? Azimio stopped demonstrations a long time ago. Azimio would want this country to prosper. How is that Azimio when we get bags of fake fertilizer and then you blame? that it is Azimio, a, a, a and Budavad is actually upset. And he wants every cabinet secretary to carry his own clothes. If you listen to him, he's mentioning the very, very dockets that have got problems, health, security, agriculture, because if you look at security, people are dying, both at Shabab and, uh, and bandits are killing us. The fertilizer faith is affecting, the fake fertilizer is affecting agriculture. Education is not left behind either. The capitation fee was not received on time and people feel that Machogu cannot fit into the foot 
the footsteps of uh, his predecessors. And while William Ruti chooses to be quiet, others feel that he should crack the wig. Uh, crack the wig. And in fact, today Salam Dovidi has said it and is cautioning. I think the next thing we are about to see is Musalem Davadi suspending some cabinet secretaries. It will be reminiscent to the coalition government where Ayala tried to, to suspend some Ungeri then and William Bruto and William Bruto said, I know who the appointing authority is. He might decide because he's the chief cabinet secretary and we shall see whether they will say, I know who the appointing authority is. And farmers from Rift Valley and leaders from Rift Valley are not taking this kindly. And I wonder why leaders from Mount Kenya still insist that there is no problem. They continue with this, let me allow me to use this word, the, this hogwash idea of, of trying to protect the government even when things are wrong. You know, if there are people who should even, you, you cannot cry more than the bereaved. If there are people who should even defend William Ruto more than any other person, it is Rift Valley. He, come from, he comes from Rift Valley. He is their son if we have to play that tribal politics. But you see them coming out and they are questioning. Rono is suspending and they are telling Musalem um, Dabadi, please do something. On that very forum, or in that forum, Aaron Chariot, if you look at my uh, earlier video, confronted IG Komi and was saying, if you are unable to do your job, resign. It tells you Rift Valley now feels that it is time for heads to roll. Those who cannot, you know, cope up should fall by the, by the wayside. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. It seems to me that Rift Valley feels that if William Ruto fails or for these five years that he will be in, 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 uh, on the steering wheel, then people will blame him come 2027. But those from Mount Kenya, it's like they have a plan to sabotage. This is what I call sabotage. Because if things go wrong, the buck stops with William Samoy Ruto. And I have a feeling that maybe they have a plan to try and mess up things. And Rift Valley is seeing what is, hap is happening. Because why would you insist that this is Azimio? I remember sometimes back Musalem Dovadi told of Gashagwa and the people who are perpetuating this narrative of Azimio, Uhuru, I don't know, we, we, we inherited a dilapidated dilip economy. And he said, yes, be that as it may, it is time to rise up and work. You cannot thrive on blame game. People will not eat blame game. I mean, people like Mithika Lituri should not even hold such dockets. Ladies and gentlemen, whenever there is a problem, accept. These are human beings. To A is to human. Just say there is a problem we are investigating. Kenyans will be happy when you investigate and find some unscrupulous businessmen and you terminate their contract. They go to jail. They, they, they pay for the consequences. They will be very happy with you because we know that those who hold such dockets are never angels. They are not impeccable. But when you, you defend them, you are only showing us that you know what is happening. You are part of the problem, not part of the solution. And I think this is the time for William Ruto to act. That's my take.